Hi, I'm Oblissi. Hey guys, if you enjoy this video, I appreciate a like, comment, sub, and little bell notification. Thanks so much, enjoy. This video is made possible thanks to sponsors and donators like you. Thank you guys so much. Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you the steps to RNG abuse the IVs of the shiny Zygarde that just came out in uh, for Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon. Um, so, the first thing we're going to have to do is stand in this exact spot in the Route 1 Pokemon Center. Um, don't stand anywhere else. This gets you the least number of NPCs. Um, and NPCs uh, advance the RNG much quicker and much more unpredictably. The reason you would want to RNG abuse uh, this Zygarde in particular is just because you could save from using the gold bottle cap by getting the IVs you want. So you're going to need this tool, the 3DS RNG tool, um, and down the link in the description of course. You're going to click tools and hit Gen 7 main RNG tool, and here you're going to use the save file spinners to find your initial seed. So what you're doing is basically lining up these little needles here to the ones in uh, the RNG tool. Uh, so every time you hit A to go into the save file select and then you hit B to go back to the title uh, screen. And this usually takes about eight needles before it figures out your initial seed. Um, this video isn't really the type of video where I'm going to explain what the initials, what, like how the initial seed works or anything like that. Um, but once you find it, um, uh, you're going to be moving on to the next window. Um, this is something that I think is kind of difficult. Um, I have a video on how to get it and how to find it easily, but the long story short is I recommend you record your DS screen and uh, slow-mo it down. Um, so here you're just setting your event up, so just pick the Pokemon that it is. Um, uh, it's also uh, shiny. It took me a little while to find it, but it's always shiny. So if it's an always shiny event, you hit shiny. If it's not shiny, don't click that. Um, and then uh, you hit calculate, and uh, you're supposed to change. So we're we're looking for five IVs, and we're looking for safe frames only. That's what safe F only is. Um, and so I'm not going to be looking for a specific spread just because I wanted this video to go quicker. But basically, um, what you're looking for is a spread that is multiple frames in a row. So if you look at the first spread that I see here, um, I'll scroll back down to it in a moment. So this is two frames long. It's 1835 and 1836, um, and it's at 11 seconds into the game. Um, obviously, it's not the best spread, but you know, t looking for a much better spread would have taken a little longer than I, I had to set this video up. So you're going to right-click Set as Target Frame, then you're going to go back to Gen 7 Main RNG window and hit the Calculate button, and you're going to type that into the bottom window of the program Eon Timer. Um, for the pre-timer and Eon Timer, you're going to set that to be uh, 3500 if you have a new or an old 3DS, and 2500 if you have a new 3DS. Um, and then you're just going to talk to this guy, uh, and you're going to start Eon Timer at the same time as you start your game. Then you're going to talk to this guy until you get to the black screen, and when the second timer hits zero, you're going to hit A to uh, receive the Zygarde, because the Zygarde is received on the frame you uh, hit A at the end of that. Now, um, it's much easier to do this if you've already got Zygarde in your Pokedex, but if you don't, if you look to the right over there, there's a no dex entry box. Um, I would check that off uh, if you do not have Zygarde already, although I think you should catch him before you do this. It makes it much, much, much easier. Um, so, uh, change his level here as well. Um, it's 60 if it's Sun and Moon, but it's 100 if it's Ultra Sun and Moon. So if you get him in Sun and Moon, you actually don't have to change it. So what we're doing here is we're going to type in his stats uh, that we got, and we're going to see how many frames off we are of this Zygarde. You uncheck Safe F only as well, because you could have hit a non-safe frame. Um, so it looks like I was 8 frames off, and uh, here I'm going to use the calculator to adjust my uh, pre-timer. So you're going to do 8, which is the number of frames that I was off by. You're dividing that by 60, which is the amount of frames per second. Then you divide that by 4, which is the number of NPCs in the room. Um, and I was early, which means, so that's minus 8, I was early, so I'm going to add this 0.3 repeating to my 3500 pre-timer. Um, this will make me a little bit later, um, hopefully anyway. Um, and remember, the pre-timer is how long the game world takes to load. So what I'm going to do is soft reset here again, and we're just going to find the initial seed once more. Um, and we're going to switch back to using IVs and switch back to safe frames only. Um, so let me bring up all this stuff. Now again, um, 
let me just some more tips for the clocks. Um, you're going to do end position if you're doing it by eye. I think it's much easier to do end position by eye than it is to do start position. Although if you are doing start position uh, and using a camera, uh, people do say that start position is more reliable. Um, I pretty much always do it by eye at this point. Um, but if you are having trouble, try... Er, I always do by end position at this point, excuse me. But um, if you are having trouble, I'd say try start position with a camera. Um, and like I said, I do have a video where I explain explicitly how to do this, and that's the whole video, so a um, link to that will be in the description as well, and maybe like the end card or whatever. Um, so once you find your initial seed, again, it takes about eight. See here, I have two seeds. That means uh, it's going to take me nine, so I'm going to hit there. Um, and there it goes. It lowers down to one. So we're going to go back here. We're just going to hit the calculate button. Um, so what you're looking for for these spreads is each spread, each thing is 1 60th of a second, right? The more that are in a row, the more 60ths of a second you have. So this is 3 60ths of a second in a row, which means it's easier to hit than a spread like last time, which is only 2 60ths of a second. Now, like I said, I'm not looking for a super great spread because I just wanted to bang this video out and like, you know, it took me uh, a roughly a half hour. Um, so you just repeat the process for the last time, put in your target frame, start your game at the same time as Eon Timer, and uh, load up the game and talk to this dude. Um, so I'm going to cut this so it, it uh, I know you have to wait the full minute, but um, obviously it's easier the bigger frame spread you have, and if you want to be more specific about it, it'll take a little longer than that. But the whole point of doing this is that you can save that gold bottle cap for something that's much more important, like if you find a random shiny, or if you want to quickly generate an egg without looking for that kind of thing. Um, so that's why I think this is important, because this is a Pokemon you can easily get um, perfect, because Zygarde comes with three IVs, he is shiny already, and you cannot have to waste your bottle cap on him. Um, so here I was another I was eight frames off still, which is kind of weird, but there's a lot of NPCs around and they do mess with it. So um, because it would have been the same result, I'm just adding uh, another 0.33 onto it. It would have been the same exact result as last time mathematically. So uh, now it's three uh, five six six. Um, and so we're just finding the clocks again. Um, so this is the last attempt I'm going to be doing, I believe. Maybe maybe I have one more. I forget. Um, but I, do, I did cut it down to only three or four attempts. Um, if you have questions about the clock hands, check out my Discord. People help there all the time. People, especially uh, Sky um, and a few other people, help out a lot more than even I am able to or do. Um, so I just appreciate everyone who does that kind of thing. Um, but everyone's you know pretty nice there. If you're having trouble with this kind of thing, pop over to Discord. Um, also pop over to the Pokemon RNG subreddit and their own Discord. They're also very helpful. Um, so here I'm checking safe F only and using IVs again. And we're going to see if there's any good spreads. So this is another three frame window that looks nice. Um, here I was just perusing to see because if I could have found, you know, like something that was, you know, 40 minutes in or something and it was 20 frames, it would have been worth it for me to aim for that. But I don't see anything like that. So I'm going to set his target frame and just do the process all over again. Um, and so in this video, again, I was just picking low frame numbers, stuff that was like a minute or less, just because I want to, I want, again, I want it to be quick, but you can easily use this to find a specific Adamant or Jolly or um, what, are, what are other good Zygarde natures? Uh, I believe Careful is a fairly popular Zygarde nature. Um, so stuff like that. Um, so I got a quirky nature, um, so that means it was wrong. Just going to type in the stats here real quick. So it's actually one more um, attempt, not two. So this is the second to last attempt here I get, because I don't believe this is the correct Zygarde. So here I was minus eight or minus six. I kind of assumed I was minus six, so I'm going to do that again, just the lower one. Um, and this ends up being my final pre-timer calibration is three, five, nine, nine. And uh, here we go. We're just going to find the initial seed one last time. Um, I had to go through several more attempts. Um, I ended up being plus for a little while, like, but I, I think that was just me personally mistiming it, and it had nothing to do with the um, 
the pre-timer being incorrect because I eventually got the Zygarde with the 3599 uh, pre-timer. Um, so sometimes you have to, uh, like, you get the timing, because I was watching videos and stuff while I was doing this, and so sometimes that kind of thing really will mess up your timing, because the Eon timer, like, you know, it literally beeps, and so sometimes that can actually just mess up your timing super bad, and you don't want that kind of thing. Um, uh, so, yeah. Um, I, I don't have much more to say about the clocks here. I'm just showing it, because a lot of people do have trouble, you know, getting it and understanding it and all that kind of stuff. Um... Here is the last clocks video. Um, so once you find your seed, which is only going to be one for this time, uh, again, just do a little quick search. And I have a fourth frame window here that actually was three serious natures and one jolly nature, which is what I end up aiming for because it would have been cool to get the jolly nature. I, I know it's not the best nature for Zygarde fifty uh, percent, but eh, you know, whatever. Not the biggest deal. Uh, it's not like I don't have other Zygards. It's not like I don't have other Zygarde cards. Um, so we're going to do the one more final uh, uh, attempt here. And this is actually a pretty low frame window. Um, you know, only 30 seconds. Okay, so we're just about to uh, get, uh, receive the Zygarde. And uh, if you can see here, um, I, oh, I tried to do something here that's a little dumb. I was trying to get it so I could show. So I got the serious uh, nature, which is the correct nature, which is a good sign. Unfortunately, it's not the zo jolly one, but still. So I was trying to do a thing here where like, I showed um, how I could show me typing in the stats at the same time as uh, me doing it, but it obviously wouldn't work out. Um, so I'm going to type in all the stats here, and you're going to be able to see... Um, that the stats uh, perfectly line up with the Zygarde I was aiming for. And there you go. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'm happy to answer, and I hope you guys have a great day and enjoyed the video.